And and this is a very cool way to create primitive uh, because you know this one can be a little bit uh, how to say I convenient. Like let's say you want to create like a a wall, you may do this things like that, and then you may want to model, and then you will scale things up and kind of like create your level. And uh, let's just put our knight here and then play from here. And now we have our walls. Uh, notice that by default, you have collision, complex collision uh, as simple. So this means all the polygons will be collision by default. This is good if your polygon mesh has low resolution. It's not if it's like this one, the collision will be too heavy. In order to fix this, just go here and then in the search details, checks use complex collision as simple. You can use a project default uh, to fix this or just use simple collision as complex. Both are okay. So uh, for this one, uh, we have other tools that allow us to create these things much easier. So if I click check the create shelf, I can drop polygons. And you will see I have my grid here. Uh, let me move our friend here. We will go back to him in a, in a moment. But if I click here, you can see I have a grid here. And you have a bunch of options here. The default works quite nice. Uh, but if you want, uh, you can change those. In my case, I'm just going to click here to show what this does. Uh, you will see it will snap to a perfect angle too. Then go here and then close it. And automatically, I can create a wall. I can just drag click here, complete, and now you have your wall. And this is how you can create different shapes much easier. Like you can just go here and the wall. If you don't want to extrude the wall, then you will need to change this output mode to extrude to height. And you have a default height here. You can put like 500. And if I click here and I close my mesh, automatically I will have a fixed height for this one. Depends on what you want to create. In my case, interactive extrude works the best. And this is what you will have by default. Another thing you can do is to actually change this polygon type to presets. You can do the freehand by default, but you can also do the circle one the square one, the rectangle one, and so on. So let's say I choose the circle. If I click here, then I drag the mouse and I will interactively change the radius. And I click here and now I can change the height. Then click complete. And all these meshes will be created inside this folder. Just keep that in mind. Everything you create is here. Personally, I like this workflow because I won't necessarily use anything that is here, but uh, once I'm happy with my models, I can move it to the right folder. And you can play with those, like for example, the circle with hole. You can click here, click again, click, click again to change the, the height, and there you have it. And all these have collisions. So if I play from here, you will see that everything works as usual. All right. So let's continue. Then you have the polypath extrude, which works a little bit different. You can click here, different paths. You can close it, but then you can also change the width interactively. And then you can change the height. And this can be very useful for closed space where you want to have a room or something like that. Then 
this works like a charm. You also have different settings like this. Yeah, you can use the reborn destruction or the ramp. Let's just try what happens with the ramp here. Okay. A bit strange, but you can play with it. So another one you can use is the path river. And let me delete all of those. We don't need them for now. With only and... that tool, you have convinced me to use this instead of BSP. Yeah. It's really this will easy. replace BSP. <laughs> and it's very stable. So far, we haven't crashed. So, yeah, you can you can use, use it right away. So that uh, Revolve, uh, it's amazing. You can just use this, like you can drag the profile you want. Let's say here, I want to draw this profile. And then I will close this one and look what I have. It's like, uh, it's been duplicated and extruded uh, many different times. And I have like a cylinder. And I can change like the how many polygons I want the resolution. I can also change like which axis I can go. I can go this way. And I can also change if I want uh, complete 360 degrees or I can change it and cut it like half or any other angle. This is very useful. You can also flip the normals. So if I check this flick mesh, you can already see like I have a little level. If I play here, let me increase the size of this. And I play from here, I have a small level I can play with. By the way, if you like the, the night, check the links in our YouTube channel so you can get it. So uh, this is a very interesting way to, to have levels. So uh, feel free to play with it. Uh, super interesting. You're going to change the, the, the height and everything and super cool stuff. The next one is the revolve mesh boundary loop. For this one, I will create a round rectangle. Let's just say I have a plane and first you need to have something and then you click the revolve mesh. And along one axis, it will do the same here. Uh, but instead, it will use your mesh. So if you have a different profile, like you can create a different ground plane or something to have different shapes, you will see those shapes in your in, in your mesh created. And you can change the axis, like you can move it here. Let's see if I can click on it. There you go. So you can move the axis where you want to revolve and all those things. And uh, you can still do the same thing like revolution degree or change the resolution, how many axes you want. Okay. Uh, once you're done, click accept. And now you have your new mesh. Very cool stuff. So another thing you can do is to duplicate this asset. Let's say you want to modify this one. 